the decades leading up to the Civil War, the burning issues of the day such as slavery, taxation, free trade, and immigration spurred the creation of new political groups. When New Yorkers gathered at taverns like Hosmer's Inn to debate politics, they belonged to many different parties and factions. Loco Focos, Hunkers, Barn Burners, Free Soilers. Loco Focos were radical Democrats. They were named after a brand of matches that members used to illuminate their meeting halls when their political rivals put out the lights. The Barn Burners and Hunkers represented two opposing wings of the Democratic Party. They disagreed on issues such as public debt, government spending, and slavery. With a platform of free soil, free speech, free labor, and free men, the Free Soil Party opposed the expansion of slavery into the newly formed Western territories of the United States. They had many supporters in New England and upstate New York. Even more radically, the Liberty Party, founded in Warsaw, New York in 1839, stood for the complete abolition of slavery. Eventually, the Liberty and Free Soil Parties merged with the newly formed Republican Party in the mid-1850s. These New York State factions came and went, but the Whig Party had a real impact on national politics. 